I am your Unreal Evangelist in Europe, so I travel around Europe to talk about Unreal. I have a conference, go to many occasions as well, so if you're located in Europe, I'm happy to look with you if I can maybe combine it some other to something we can do. Like almost everyone else here today, I'm a technical artist, so you can see a trend here, and that's kind of the general message we want to convey as well, and I'm also going to talk about that here today, uh, just how important that really is. And I want to particularly talk about the master classes that we've been putting together. So these are deep and thorough dives into the Unreal Engine, and essentially complex subjects explain and understand the way. And what that means is following. So they're hosted over here. This is the direct URL to the same image that you've seen from both Chris and Tom. So the image that you saw with video tutorials, which is that one. I'll go back to the URL in a second. That is an immediate URL. Uh, that's something that we've launched recently. Um, and as part of that, we have the master classes as well. These master classes take the form of video tutorials. So they're about a couple of hours long. Mine is the one about real-time rendering, which I'm going to talk about here. It's about three and a half hours long, so that's kind of what we're looking at. And these are the ones we have available. So we have one available on building better pipelines. Because it's one thing to learn how to use, for example, a material that I took, or how to use this feature, how to use that feature, but it's something entirely different on how you tie all of that together. How do you combine all those different tools into creating an actual pipeline and workflow? We've got one that focuses on that. We've got one that focuses on advanced techniques for architects, which is part of our wider initiative to building more learning resources for non-game use of the Unreal Engine. Then we've got one on creating plugins. Again, part of the workflow and pipeline in a way. If you're able to build plugins, then you can modify the editor to better suit your project and the way you're working. That goes over that. So again, very important in, in mastering the Unreal Engine. And then lastly, we have my own masterclass on real-time rendering. Now, the class on real-time rendering is about explaining the entire process a single frame goes through. So how do we render a single image? Everything that's involved, the entire process. And it's not meant for engineers or programmers. This is meant for artists and designers primarily. Um, to explain it in a very practical, artist-driven way. It's about the big picture. Okay? It's about which features exist, how do they compare, uh, when to use which feature, what will impact performance, and why, and so on, and so on. What I'm not doing in class, I'm not explaining how to actually do those things. I'm explaining what's there and why it's there. I'm explaining literally the big picture. So for example, when we talk about pre-computed visibility, I'm not going to explain, click here, click there, click there, now you have something. I'm going to explain, this is what exists, and it, this exists, and this exists. This is how this stands in relationship to this feature. This is how it all impacts performance, and so on, and so on. And then from that information, you can then say, okay, well, that's cool, I didn't know about pre-computed visibility. Let me look up some information online, other resources on how you actually built that, and how you actually handle <coughs> that. Okay. When I say big picture, I mean big picture. This is not what we launched, this is not public, but this is how I started. When I was building the content, this is how I set it up for myself. I'm not a programmer, I'm not an engineer. I'm an artist myself. I want to visually see exactly what happens. And this is how I set up the content as well. So I built a huge image, which just describes all the steps it goes through, literally how is the image built up, which step does it go through as part of the rendering process. And I built it up for myself in order just to get a feel for it. Okay. And then we convert that to the final format of video tutorials. Um, so I'm just going to step through a couple of the things it goes through here relatively quickly. It goes through things like you know the game draw and render threads and how that works out, pre-computed visibility, just you know it looks at draw calls, we're analyzing using render docs exactly what are draw calls, how do they impact performance, how do they impact workflow, when should you be careful with them, when should you maybe be less careful with them, and so on, overshading, G buffer. How textures are handled, for example, with MIF maps, you know, pixel shaders, the general architectures of shaders behind the material editor, <coughs> you know, reflections, SSR reflection captures, distance fields, all of the information about lighting and shadows in general, including distance fields. How there are volumetric textures, what does a volumetric texture mean, shadows, G buffer used to calculate lighting and shadows, etc. etc. I can talk literally for three and a half hours, which is the length of the class, about everything that's in there. But this is a very wide, big view on everything we got. Okay. And I think it's really important that everyone who's involved with uh, a game development and real-time development using real-time rendering in general understands these things. A lot of people tend to skip out of that, especially artists and designers, for various reasons. I think one of the reasons is there's not that many resources online, I think, 
that really explain these very complex subjects in an easy, understandable way. That's probably reason one. Um, another reason is kind of or false. We make things really pretty, really easy. Okay? And that's great. It's one of the strengths of Unreal. But the downside to that is that if you're a student, if you're new to uh, doing these kind of things, it's very easy to get carried away. It's very easy to do something, have a pretty picture, and think, I'm done. I've done a great job. It looks pretty. Which is only a little part of the work you're supposed to do. Um, and obviously, it needs to run. Okay? Especially for game development. For non-game usage, that is debatable. Depends on exactly what you're doing. But especially for games, obviously, if it does not run, it does not matter how fun it is, it does not matter how pretty it is, you can't play it, which is the entire point of making a game, right? Um, and then perhaps the most important part of this is consider what the future looks like. So, because of the work that we're doing with Yang, and because of the work that you're doing as educators, and a couple of other reasons, we're getting an ever larger group of people out there who can do something, okay? The engine is freely available, we have a lot of learning resources available, anyone on the planet can download this, can learn it, and can master Unreal. We're getting ever more educations in the world to focus on real-time rendering and game development. The quality of education keeps going up. We get ever more students there. The group that's there is growing. We have more and more things on YouTube. You know, the, the, the rise of YouTube, first of all, in general, the past 10 years. Things like Steam, lots of reasons. But the group of people who can do some kind of modeling, who can create some kind of you know, programming or scripting, the group of people who can make a game is increasing. So in order for you to stand out in the future, in order for your students and graduates to stand out from that group in the future, they need to go to the next step. They need to stand out from that group. They need to be part of the top 10 or whatever percent of that group and have a deeper understanding of what's going on. It's no longer going to be sufficient to simply be able to do something, to be able to make something, okay? And this is where this really ties in. We want to make classes, <coughs> classes that really explain how things work because it's important for everyone. So what we've got coming up is we have a materials masterclass recorded. Um, it has to be edited still, and it's going to go up live in, I'm not sure exactly on a time plan, for a couple of weeks. Uh, that explains everything to do with materials. And then we, later on, this hasn't been started yet, but we're going to look at the blueprint masterclass that I really want to build over summer. So we're going to start looking into that and really explain exactly how blueprint works, including lots of advanced questions most people don't even know they're there. Okay. That's really the aim. And again, that's your own day part available as.